Hey, Alpha Bob here for the third part of my challenge series. For this special episode, I am giving away all the ISK that I make from this superior sleeper cache site. Plus a grand prize of all the ISK I make by the end of this billion ISK challenge. To enter, just enter your guess of my total ISK challenge amount in the comments below. I will take guesses for one week and limit this contest to my subscribers, so subscribe now if you haven't yet. I will select one guess at random to win the sleeper cash amount. And at the end of this challenge attempt, I will give my total ISK amount to the subscriber with the closest guess. If there is more than 50 guesses from my subscribers, I will increase the sleeper cash payout to a total of 5 random subscribers. Now back to the video. I am now warping to the superior sleeper cash site. These sites are hard to skin down but can pay out well over 100 million ISK. You need at least 105 points of scan strength. This is doable with a maxed out alpha player sporting the 6% rangefinder implants. It's a bit of an investment, but can be paid back with a visit to just one of these sites. You can see we are at 207 million ISK for about one and a half hours. At this rate, we will be well short of the billion isk mark for this challenge. Let's hope this site will help us get back on track. Now we will hack the hyperflux generator. Take it slow on the first hack attempt. If you fail, it will give you a two minute timer to complete the hack. If the timer runs out, the container will explode without any damage to your ship, but you will be locked out of this site. This warp gate will take you to either the sentries on duty room or more commonly the solar power plant room. If you land in the sentry room first, then you should use the nearby warp gate to the solar room. This room's only danger is the gas cloud in the middle. You need to retrieve the disk from the Sol Ray observation unit and place it in the right container. Once you do this, you can enter the gas cloud with minimal damage. There is a nearby container called the Dented Storage Depot. Hacking this container will make the site despawn so others can't scan down the site. I cargo scan to see what I might get. The blueprints are mostly worthless, and the other thing is too heavy to carry for its worth. I decide to destroy the can by failing the hack twice. But I forgot the containers in this site can be hacked as many times as you need. You are mostly looking for the blue loot, while some of the blueprints can be valuable. You can search for contracts for this blueprint to see if they are worth anything. I take just the blueprint. The next step is to hack this boat shaped object. Use your data analyzer for this hack. This container can be hacked as many times as you need. Now open and collect the disk. You need to match the name on the disk with one of the three Soul Ray containers in this room. They are named Infrared, Gamma, and Radio. I have the radio disc, so I need to fly to the other side. Use this warp gate near the boat to travel across the room. Warp drive active. Do not hack the remote reroute unit. This is to access the mine's room, 
which is super deadly. Once you place the disk in the correct container, you will see a message in local chat showing the power terminal is now stable. Now you can enter the gas cloud without major damage. This warp gate will return you back. I now select all the hackable containers and start my cargo scanning. Once you enter the gas cloud, you will get damaged once a second. This fit is armor tanked, so I will use the repairer as needed. This first hack is worth 42 million is. Don't screw this up. Payday, I now collect the blue loot and the blueprint, leaving the heavy stuff. You can collect the heavy stuff if you like, and just toss it if you need the cargo space. Now that there is a chunk of my armor gone, I turn on the armor repairer. Since the damage is constant, you can wait to start the repairer when your armor is almost fully down. You will have to turn off the repairer for a little bit when your cap gets low. We are now done with this room. If you picture the three warp gates as forming the letter L, then we want to take the gate at the bottom end of the L. I fly towards the gate as I continue to repair my armor. Your ship's shields will recover over time. This gate takes me to the sentries on duty room.
There are six sentries here, but they won't attack you as long as you don't approach or target any of the loot containers. First, select and approach the remote defense grid unit. You only get one attempt at this hack. If you fail to hack the defense grid on the first attempt, you must warp off, because in 45 seconds there will be 22 sentries and they will start attacking you. When you complete this hack, the nearby sentry will become friendly and it will start attacking the enemy sentries. But the friendly sentry will be attacked back and only last for about two minutes. I turn on my micro warp drive and get ready to target and approach the sentry repair station. You want to hack this repair station so the friendly sentry will survive long enough to destroy all the enemy sentries. There's no penalty for failing this hack, so you can go quickly and restart the hack if you have a bad board. You will have time for two to three hack attempts, but if your friendly sentry dies, you will have to quickly warp off. The enemy sentries will soon target your ship. Now it's a waiting game. It is safe to target the friendly sentry and even the enemy sentries. But if you fly towards or target any of the loot containers, the enemy sentries will focus their attacks on you. A more efficient way to hack both rooms is to take the warp gate and do this part first. While the sentries are getting destroyed, you can warp back to the solar room and do those hacks. Once you return here, the room should be clear. A player has entered local, but we are safe in this site. Even if they had previously scanned this site, or if they combat scan you, they cannot warp directly to your ship. Any warp to you will land them outside the site, and then they would have to take two warp gates to reach your position. So just keep using the D-scan to keep a watch on them. Another thing to mention, those three egg-shaped objects at the top of the screen are the plasma chambers, and if you fly too close they will explode with devastating damage. Okay, now it's safe to target and cargo scan all the loot containers. I use my micro warp drive to go to the first can, but once I'm near the other containers, I will turn it off and fly slowly between them. This is because the last two containers are close to those plasma chambers, and running your micro warp drive close to them will increase the chance they will explode.
you can ignore the hyperflux generator and the vessel rejuvenation battery. These are used for the archive room, which is another dangerous room that can be skipped. This room has timed explosions and mines that can explode if you fly in the wrong direction, but as an alpha player, and knowing the process of the room, you can hack another two loot containers in about three minutes. But it's a bit too risky for my blood, so I'll just stick to hacking these first two rooms. Now sit back and enjoy my hacking. Or you can skip to the end of the video to see my loot total for this site. Remember, I will give away this isk to a lucky subscriber. Actually, I would like to find more ways to give away my isk. If any of you have a good idea for isk giveaway contest, leave me a comment. This was the last container to hack. I warp off to a bookmark and start to count my loot. Warp drive active. I only picked up the blue loot and the total is 99 million. Okay, let's say an even 100 million isk. That will be the amount I give away to a random subscriber who leaves a comment. Make a guess at my total ISK amount for the full 5 hours of this challenge attempt, and I'll give away that ISK too. 
Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Happy hacking. Warp drive active.